All right, number five asks us to simplify this expression, cotangent x minus cosecant squared x times cotangent x. So the first thing that I notice about this expression is that we've got a cotangent x in both of the terms. So let's start by factoring that out. So we'll put the cotangent x out front, and then cotangent x divided by cotangent x is 1. Um, minus cosecant squared x times cotangent x divided by cotangent x is going to be cosecant squared x. All right, now this looks like something um, that we recognize as, as uh, one of our Pythagorean identities. But be careful with this. Remember that the Pythagorean identity that I'm thinking of is that cotangent squared x plus 1 is equal to cosecant squared x. Um, so if we move this 1 over to the other side, if we subtracted 1 from both sides, we get cotangent squared x is equal to uh, cosecant squared x minus 1. So notice that this isn't exactly what we want. Um, in other, or at least, um, this isn't the identity that gives us uh, co cotangent squared. But notice what we do have. We have all the elements here. It's just that our cos up here, our cosecant squared is negative. Down here, it's positive. Up here, our, our uh, 1 is positive. Down here, our 1 is negative. Um, so if we could flip those around, and we, could, and we can flip them around, just by um, multiplying this by negative 1. So if we multiply both sides of this equation uh, by negative 1, so th then this would be negative cotangent squared x is equal to um, negative cosecant squared x plus 1. Or another way to write that is 1 minus cosecant squared x. And that is the identity that we want. So let's, uh, let's replace this 1 minus cosecant squared x um, with negative cotangent squared x. And we're going to multiply that by cotangent x. And so cotangent x times negative cotangent squared x is going to be negative cotangent cubed x, and that will be our answer.